Hello, 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 everybody. Here is Dr. Wawail again talking about different topics and science. Remember, guys, that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hmr.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Dr. Wawail which topics do we have? Research, community education, care delivery hours, and achievement. The article title to review today is family. Growing up with a doctor in the house makes a lasting impression. This question, what was it like growing up with a doctor in the house? When I was asking this question recently, my immediate response was, I was wonderful. That would be my total summary of it. At that time, I didn't realize how wonderful it was. I knew my father, holy, all right, loved what we have doing. I like to say it was part of our daily life and in a sense it was early in the morning we would have breakfast together we would then go off on work some days I would go with him to the hospital when I was really little I remember doing this and just loving the facts that I was doing with him I didn't see the patients instead my father would leave me with the telephone operators at the front desk I had a great time with them From Cambridge, Massachusetts, at Harvard University Medical School, I want to remind to everybody who's listened to Dr. Wild that we do mostly days this beautiful reviews from the magazine of Harvard Medical School. I continue straight away doing this beautiful review. Later, as I was entering the profession, I remember leaning on his example. He wouldn't guide me saying do this or do that. Instead, I would then how though by listening and by watching him work. I remember one time I was doing an appendix me on a seven years old girl he stuck his head in the door so what I was and he said make the incision just where you would on Lalis. Lalis is a one of the daughters who has six or seven years old my first reaction was how would he say thought that thing and then I realized he was telling me that every single case is just that personal whether it's your daughter or someone else daughter My father never pushed me to go into medicine. In fact, when I did apply to medical school, I asked him, Daddy, do you really want me to apply to medical school? Oh, no, 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 he said. I just don't want to be a reason you made your decision. My life benefit from the presence of my father, from my accompanying him to the hospital, from my being able to ask him a question about patient and caregiving, from my listening and still hearing his encouragement and guidance. I know my behavior is as a physician and a surgeon has been shaped by a model he provide me. But what about other children or physicians? What sorts of stories of their profession do other doctors have? Especially others who, like my father and me, share not only a family name and a profession, but also the experience of an education at Harvard Medical School. find out I collaborated with the editor of this magazine and contacted other Harvard Medical School alumni who are the children of Harvard Medical School alumni. The sample is admittedly a small and selected in somewhat random manner. Despite that, the stories are amazingly similar, each illustrating the special bond that forms when a family shares not only home and history but also profession. According to Bradford Stiles, his family could have opened its own hospital. That was a cardiothoracic surgeon. Mom was an anesthesiologist. My older sister is a pediatrician and an older brother is a general and trauma surgeon. I went into family practice and primary care sport medicine with a brother and sister going through medical school while he was in high school. Brad had a good look at the profession before deciding to enter it. Exposure to hospital routines came from his parents, Quentin and Clarence. Quentin said he would occasionally take Brad to rounds 
on weekends when I just had to check on a patient's operation on the to make sure they were all right. Brad would hide out the nurses and eat donuts. Brad's excursion with Clyde had a different caution when I knew there wouldn't be anyone at home. I would have and would take Brad to the hospital with me, stick him as soon and either put him in the isolation room or he's in the laboratory and let him blow people on the ceiling. She had this beautiful star still there by the way. A lot of friends who tell their kids absolutely not to go into medicine, says Jane Grayson. They talk about medicine, terrible environment right now, but that's not how I feel. Yes, there is days when it's frustrating, but we're both still love what we do. The enthusiasm that Jane, a radiation oncologist, and her husband, a medical oncologist, have for their profession was never hidden from their daughters. Looking back, say Laura, I remember the enjoy both of my parents, but my particular mom exhausted about the work they did. Even though I didn't understand the nonsense of mom's job, I knew she was a doctor and that she felt she was making a difference. And recollection bring another dimension, I think we always understood that in the world our parents were focused on treating people equal and that they would go out of their way to make an effort to help others. I always knew this behavior also extended into the rest of their life. When Joan Martinez, a pediatrician, moved to Honduras with her husband, a primary care physician and three children under the age of two, she thought she might practice part-time so that she would be her growing family, but the constraints that came with practicing in a different country changed those plans. Joan elected to stay at home and tend to treat the four offspring of informatically care of the children of friends to volunteer in orphanages, examining babies who were about to be adopted and to work with Interplus in the charity of United States Plastic Surgeon, who travel annually to Honduras to perform reconstructive surgeries on Indian children. Today, the child who sat in the clinic watching her mother examine other children is a gastroenterologist who also conducted research in cancer genetics. Despite living far from one another, parents and daughters talk regularly, either through Skype or by phone, and their conversation always explore medicine. We know exactly what's going on in her profession, says Joan. Those conversations are so important to Elena as the dinner time talk over he between their parents. It is exciting to be able to talk among ourselves about what we do. We understand and we appreciate what one another does. All right, guys, remember to download this beautiful review from the official website at Harper Magazine. And the title is Family. This article has been posted by Andrew Dashen. He worked for the official website and also for the office and external relations of the magazine at Harper Medical School. See you next time. Bye bye.